Do you use Tinkercad to design your 3D prints? Well, stay tuned and I'll show you a few tips and tricks. Tinkercad Tips and Tricks is brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. In this episode, I'm going to show you a new feature in Tinkercad called Circuits. When you enter Tinkercad now, this is the screen you see. And there's now three menu items, Designs, Circuits, and Lessons. And Circuits is a new one. And this is the old 123D Circuits I.O. You can design and actually run Arduino programs. Let me show you how this thing works. So here's the Circuits menu. You can create a new circuit or you can try existing circuits. Now I want to just create a new one just to show you how easy this is. So I'll click on Create a New One. And it depends, it's in the cloud, so it depends on your internet connection. But there's all kinds of components available. I'm just going to grab this Arduino Uno R3. So you grab it and drop it in while well, my computer's a little slow. But okay, there it is. So that's my internet connection. It's nothing really major here. But I'm going to zoom out. And this is all I want. This is all I want is the Arduino module. Because I want to flash the LED that's on the Arduino board. And when you open the code editor, Click on the code editor. Here's the code, and it's a flash LED. And it sets the LED equal to 13, which is the pin the LED is connected to. Then it goes into setup mode, where it makes that pin and output, the LED pin and output. Then in the main loop, it sets that LED pin high to turn the LED on. Then it delays 1,000 milliseconds, which is the same as one second. Then you digital write the LED low, which turns the LED off. And then delay for another... 1,000 milliseconds or one second. And it'll continue to loop over and over continuously do this loop. So it's just gonna flash the LED on and off at a second rate. So then I click on Upload and Run, just like you would on a real Arduino, and it loads it up. And let me zoom in here so you can see it. But the little LED that's on the board in the same location is now flashing orange here, on and off, on and off. It's actually running an LED program simulating right here for you. And you wrote the code. Is this incredible? Now let me take you further. There's an actual LED that I can build on this thing. So I'll drop an LED in. Now I need a resistor to limit the current to this guy. So I'm going to go back and get a resistor. And it defaults to 1K, which is going to be fine for this. But you can change the value if you want. So once I've got those two components, let me zoom in and position these guys and I'll zoom in and show you how to make connections. So I've got them in place and now I just take my mouse, click and drag and click again and that makes a connection with the green wire. And I can change the wire color but I'm going to leave it green for now. So you click on a pin and now I'm going to connect the cathode to ground so I've got my LED circuit from pin 12 now instead of pin 13. So now I'm going to go back to the code editor, click on that. Here's the same blink LED for LED 13. And the way it's written, because it uses LED as a label, all I need to do is change one spot here, change 13 to 12, and then wherever LED is, it'll change it to 12. So now I can just click on Upload and Run. And, well, let me click here and get rid of the, the little dots there. But if you look here, the LED is actually blinking, just like I hooked up an external LED, like a real circuit. And it's blinking a little bit slower because of my internet connection. So if you look at the simulation time, you can see it's kind of fading. It's not truly a second, but it's, it is a second as far as the simulator is concerned. So it's on and off, on and off. Is this incredible? I mean, now you can go and test the same thing on an actual Arduino, and I'll change, I'll save that for another video. But I just wanted to show you that you can actually play with the Arduino, write code, connect circuits, and actually play with electronics right here in Tinkercad. Now to get out of here you have to click on the Tinkercad logo in the upper right hand corner which is just it was a little bit out of view so I slid it down and it re, redid its thing here but it's taken me back to my main circuits screen and now that circuit we just made with the LED and the resistor is right here just like Tinkercad had and I can do all the same things I can change the properties which it gives it a funky name so I can change it to a name that makes sense so Arduino LED. I can make it change from private to public so I can share this with somebody. I can move the project. I'm not sure what that does yet, but I can delete it or I can just tinker this. Look at instead of Tinker CAD, it's now Tinker Circuits. I absolutely love this and I'll be doing more in future videos. So there you have it. A little helpful tip or trick to learning Tinker CAD. So if you like this, let me know in the comments below. 
Also, if you want to check out some of my other videos, just click on them over here. Want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon. If nothing else, click on my logo and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.